About three years ago, I built this planter out of treated 2x4s and planted bamboo in it. And it still looks great today, doesn't it? Uh huh? Uh huh? No, it doesn't. This vertical member in here, there's a vertical member. It's almost completely rotted away, and the bottom is starting to fall out. And the vertical member on the other side, over here, is also starting to rot. Like that. And I think that this will help explain a little bit better how this planter was built. This is not a scale model, but it's built in the same way as the full-sized planter. The weight of the planter is supported by the short lengths of wood, and in the large planter I lined the entire inside with landscape fabric. And I think the downfall of the uh, big planter was that the landscape fabric was not enough to keep the soil from making contact with the wood. And here you can see how the inside is put together. There's short columns of wood, a piece of wood like that, and then the bottom of the planter fits in like that. Ta-da! Some things you may want to consider are the surface to volume ratio. Uh, more surface area means the soil will dry out faster. Lots of drainage. Some sort of effective protective barrier. Don't use uh, landscaping fabric like I did. Between the soil and the wood. Pick plant species that can handle very little water. So you don't have to constantly have wet soil against wood. Maybe use a rot resistant wood like cedar and consider maybe using a sealant on the inside of the planter. And you may just want to make a fake wood planter around a plastic pot. That way the soil will never come into contact with wood. In short, my 2x4 planter was kind of a poor design and I don't think you should build one like this. Just something to consider if you're building a 2x4 planter. So thanks for watching. Bye!